welcome back so we are back with uh, another video in aks lab series now this time we are going to create a, a simple application uh, through aks cluster that we have created in the previous video and this is a voting application which has both front end and back end we would have all the uh, detail uh, shared in the description box where you can easily access the Microsoft documentation and utilize the code which is provided there. So this is the Azure voting app. So uh, you can see right now we are in the same AKSRG uh, resource MC AKSRG resource. We have the same Kubernetes cluster that we created in the previous video. You can see demo AKS. Now let's continue the series. Now what we need to do, we need to first access this uh, cluster and how can we access the cluster? To access the cluster first, we need to get the credentials. So what do I did, I clicked on here at the top corner uh, and open this cloud shell so that uh, I can work on this. Kubernetes. Uh, so what I need to do first, I need to get the credentials. So very simple command, AZ, AKS, get credentials, okay? And resource group, and to give the name of the resource group, if you hit the tab, IntelliSense work uh, pretty well here. The resource group name was AKS RG. I think so, let me quickly sh see first so that I will not mess up with uh, credentials command AKS RG and I need to provide the name. If I hit the tab, it will give me name, name of my cluster, which is demo AKS. If I hit enter, I would have the credentials. So my credentials are stored in uh, home arun.cube under the config file. If you wanna see the config file, you can simply cat it uh, home arun.cube and config. Here are the credentials. You can see this is the token, this is the credentials and it would, sh it would show demo uh, AKS, demo AKS. So hey, this is this is where the credentials are stored. Uh, and that's the only reason I could access the my AKS cluster from here. If I have to, uh, if you want to access through your local uh, computer or your laptop, you need to open the command shell and log into the Azure portal and run this command. Once you run this AZ get credentials, this credentials would be stored there. So the very simple command first will will uh, run is need to check if we got the nodes up and running. So kubectl get nodes will give you uh, information about your nodes. Here it says, uh, yes, this node is running that we already uh, saw this is running in the VMSS behind the load balancer, right? And this is the version of our Kubernetes cluster. All right, now what we need to do, we need to uh, create the YAML file. So it will take uh, a lot of time for me because <laughs> I'm not coming from the coding or the development uh, background, background. So if I started writing a YAML file, it will take hours for me. Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm just copying this YAML file from uh, Microsoft documentation. I'll share the link. As I said in the beginning, you can utilize the same. All right, now the name of the file is azurevote.yaml. So I'm gonna create it through a Vim editor, Azure. Uh, before I create it, let me create one uh, directory which says AKS demo. And I would like to get into this directory first. I should not have anything here. Very good. Now I'm gonna create this uh, Azure uh, vote.yaml file. 
okay i'm gonna hit uh copy the file and put it here this is the ml file and you can see uh if i'll go here it will create a lot of things as you can see this is the azure uh boot back deployment okay this is the deployment one replica of uh this image and uh, it has a service uh there is one more deployment you can see front deployment and there is uh, one more service as a load balancer this is the front so that it could be accessible publicly and uh, yeah this service doesn't have any type that means it's a cluster so let's quickly save this and get out of it oh, what i did what i just did okay all right i'm out of this file okay now what i need to do i need to run or apply this yaml file okay so the very simple command kubectl apply hyphen f and azure both dot yaml now it will take a little time and it will create uh, two deployment and two services deployment for the back deployment for the front there's a service for the back and there's a service for the front all created if you remember when we were going through the ml file they were like four different sections right deployment there were two deployment and there were two services so this is what it is now we can simply go ahead and check the services by running kubectl get service azure vote uh, not this but this right azure vote uh, front so i can copy this as well or i can write it down your choice okay by copying i'm just minimizing the chance of mistakes that i usually do while typing uh no service found because i left a so i'm not even good with the copying stuff all right so there we go there is this uh ip this service created and if i simply do cube ctl get service so you can see i have uh back as i said if it is not any type it would be cluster so it's a cluster ip and the load balancer ip this is the default one uh the load balancer has the public ip as well this is the public ip and if i try to browse on this public ip it will uh it will show us the uh voting app it should let me copy it put it here run here and there we go where you can see if i click on cat it will start counting and i can reset it as well so th they, this is a very simple uh voting app where you can vote for cat and dog and also reset it so it has a back end and also a front end right and uh <clears throat> it it uh it was simply created by a single manifest file all right so for this video this is this is uh, more than enough and we learned how to get the credentials and uh, how to how to run the manifest file through the cloud shell and uh, the load balancer service type and the cluster ip so that's how you can practice and i'll share the link as i said in the next video we'll try to see 
the same uh, Kubernetes, the health and the monitoring system, uh, monitor health and logs, okay? Well, thank you for watching and uh, you have a good day. Bye-bye.